So today guys I bring you 5 amazing superior weapons you do not want to miss from Dead Island 2. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So these weapons are tied to quests, uh, boxes you will need to open up and so on but don't worry everything will be explained today. Okay so first up guys you have the damaging hunting rifle. Now this as far as I am aware is the most powerful gun in this game. Okay so we all know about the Peggy. The Peggy is an absolute monster of a weapon, one of the best in this game. Uh, well guys, there's also another weapon you can get which spawns in at certain vendors which is on par if not better than Peggy. Okay so. The first vendor you want to check out is uh, Ezekiel. He's located right here within the pier area, Santa Monica. He's the vendor. If you progress to uh, the game's main campaign story, he will eventually become a vendor right here. This is the weapon you are looking for. It's a damaging hunting rifle. Now what's special about this is, and you may have seen a few hunting rifles at certain vendors, but you want the damaging one. This has that perk of high impact increases force built in. This is what you want guys, this also comes with that damaging perk and air trigger too, but we can change that. But it's a locked in perk, is that high impact increases force. This thing is absolutely brutal. So I'm just going to purchase it right here guys. Uh, but if you come here and he doesn't have this, what you want to do is, which is probably the best thing you can do is, is quit out to the main menu, then load back in, he will reset his loot. Or you can fast travel to a different area, not within the PR world, there's only one uh, uh, thing here. But if you tra fast travel, say, to the Metro, or Venice Beach, or Hollywood Boulevard, and come back, he should have reset his uh, loot, or his, his, his stock. But for me, quitting to the main menu and coming back is much, much better. But there's also another vendor, which can also have this you want to come to venice beach you want to go to the tower now i think you will have to complete a quest for her before she starts being a vendor for you but yes this is the vendor again that can sell this weapon but you want to look for that high caliber built in and also you know what i mean people you know what i mean people you know the weapon to look for but she's up here and here she is you see she hasn't got it now but again if she hasn't quit out the game guys come back in next up guys we have the liquid air auto carbine this thing is utterly amazing i've made mine unbelievable that was until i sold it by mistake so yeah don't do that but yes guys you need this one in your lives so within the pier area this point on the map there's a hidden container which requires a certain key to open it up now to grab the key come to this point on the map and look for a zombie called the cdc viscera Cleaner. Is this zombie you need to take out, uh, which will see him drop the key required to open this lock container? So, from here, guys, head back to it. So open this container and you should be rewarded the Liquidator Carbine, which is a monster of a weapon. So yes, you don't want to miss out on this one. Next up people, we have the Electrocutor Hunting Rifle. This is another Unreal Rifle and again a few mods to it and it absolutely slays. So within the metro area there is a Patience Alert box. Well actually guys, the enemy which drops the keys to open this is within the same area. The thing is, I do believe you have to have completed the main story mission of the end of the line before this enemy will spawn in. Don't quote me on that, I'm saying it because anytime before I did this mission, I've come here, this enemy wasn't here. 
I've come back after completing the game, knowing that that's the only story mission that takes you into this area of the metro system, so it does kind of make sense. So coming back here guys, to this point on the map you are looking at right here, you want to look for a zombie called the Derailed Patient. It will be a screamer type zombie. Once you find her, take her down. Upon doing this, she drops the keys you need for this locked box. So go ahead and open it people. From here guys you should be rewarded the fantastic electrocutor hunting rifle. Next up guys we have the vampiric machine pistol. Its name alone tells you everything you need to know about this thing. A proper amazing weapon you need in your stash. So at the back of Emma's mansion you've probably seen that locked box called Eddie's toolbox. This toolbox is home to an amazing vampiric machine pistol a superior weapon one you do not want to miss now to unlock this you first must progress the game and quite far actually because you need to get to a stage of defeating a zombie called butchow the clown now this boss you meet within a mission called board walking dead the mission takes place within that santa monica area so it is quite late on the mission consists of you trying to retrieve dr reed's blood drive so this uh, if you stick to the main story quest line shouldn't actually take you too long it just depends if you're trying to complete everything as you go on so either way you will eventually get here it's an unavoidable boss so you must take this clown out more this type then once you do take this enemy out will spawn across the lands from here guys you want to head back to bel air and to that very very first mansion you step foot in because at the back of this property one of these clown type enemies will have spawned in his name is green thumbs eddie here you have to take him down once you do guys you are rewarded the keys for eddie's toolbox then guys head back to emma's backyard open that box grab this amazing weapon and you are good to go people it really is that simple and there you have it guys make fun of this and lastly guys we have the wild stow now this axe is not only super unique but man it hits like a truck another one of my favorite go-to melee combat weapons if i ain't shooting shit Okay, so for this quest and to start it, you need to head to that Ocean Avenue area within the Serling Hotel safe point. Within this area right here you can see on the screen now people across from the bar vendor is Rosa. Speak with her to get this quest started. Now this quest consists of you going and checking out a military stash within the metro system. So that's where you have to go. So it's at this point within the metro area that you need to come to. Here you have to interact with this laptop and while it works it's magic you have to stay alive by defeating tons of zombies. Upon this stage being completed you then progress on to ransack the gang supplies. This consists of you checking out the highlight spots which will appear on your map and inspecting certain stashes. Be careful of those shotgun traps though while doing this. Once the inspections are over you then have to take out this putrid commuter. Once you do this, he drops a key for this door, so go ahead and enter it. Your next step here guys is to take out the zombie gang, so get that done. Once you are done here, people enter this room, open this crate, and the quest is done and you are rewarded this amazing superior weapon. And it really is as simple as that. And there we have it guys, 5 amazing weapons you need in your life from Dead Island 2. On that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.